Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So before I get into things today, I wanted to first off quickly address where I've been for the past week. So my YouTube channel got a strike, which is the very first strike, and it got a strike because I made a video talking about emulators and ROMs with MasterCore. And while I know other people have videos out there talking about the same exact thing, it just so happened that my channel was the one that got penalized for it. And so with that being said, it basically prevented me from posting anything on YouTube for a full week. So anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know where I've been, but I am back and I am stronger than ever. And I've got so much cool news to share with each and every one of you. So jumping into today's topic, what I wanted to do was I took a look at the video that I released right around eight days ago. And in this video, I walked through loading PS2 game ISOs through the Okage save game exploit for a up-to-date system. But one thing that I noticed was, was that the GitHub structure that Macaulay had worked on has changed quite a bit in these past eight days. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to cover some of those changes, as well as show you a few new things that I've learned along the way. There is really five main repos right now. And so MasterCore, this right here is basically the framework that you would be developing payloads. This next application and this other application right here, these three all kind of tend to run together. So if you're going to use the framework, then you're probably going to want to take advantage of PYPSU as well as this console application that allows you to generate the exploitable game save. Now, if you're an end user, it's going to be on these last two, which we're going to cover in just a moment. So going up to this very first one here, so it says that this provides the necessary framework for developing payloads that can be executed on the PlayStation 4 or 5 through a PlayStation 2 game save by escaping the PlayStation emulator. Now, he has a couple of the following dependencies that are required here. And then he shows how that you would actually compile the projects. Now, there's a bunch of improvements in here, such as being able to do ps-psh for a primitive shell command and be able to do things like print the working directory, change the directory, download and upload files, which would be really amazing, or just play to mount and play a PS2 ISO file. Now, there's also some more suggestions in here for an FTP server, as well as debug settings. So this may be a PlayStation 5 related feature, and then a homebrew enabler, and then a few more things. And so he has a bunch of references in here. Now, going back to the GitHub here, there is also this one right here, which is called the MasterCore PS2 Elf Loader loads PS2 L files built with MasterCore. So it says, see the samples directory, for example, ELF projects. And it is recommended that you use the PS2 ELF loader save as you may be locked out of being able to copy files from your USB to the game after some time of being offline from PSN. Keeping the PS2 ELF save file, you can future-proof the ability to run any ELF file without the need to copy game save files. And so pay special attention to this right here. This is an ELF loader. So what this means is, is that if you create a save game today and you put that on your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, if you were maybe offline for a while, you couldn't necessarily update that game save. So when you try to copy that to your PlayStation 4 
or five, well, it would ask you to get connected to the PlayStation Network. So this kind of shows you that he is thinking far ahead of some of the issues that we might run into. Now, he says right here, running the PS2 F loader, says you will need to load the F loader by importing the vmc0.card file for your PS4 or 5 firmware into the Okage Shadow King game save. It says, then you need to run the game and restore the save file to trigger the loader. Now, there is a couple of different things that he has created. Now, this wasn't here last week, but this is a GUI tool called MasterCore File Loader, and this can be used to send a PS2 ELF or ISO to the PlayStation. Download the pre-built XDs from the releases. There's also a command line script, and you can obviously compile this project yourself. And it does say right here, note that the firmware version 0.00, .00 means that the game save should be compatible with all firmware versions. And down at the bottom here, it shows what are the supported systems and firmware versions. Let's go into samples here. And you can see that there is a blank sample, debug socket, and then a bunch of other ones here. Now, if you wanted to do the light bar, example. And here is what that sample looks like. As you can see right there is my PS4 controller. And if I minimize the game or bring the game back up, as you can see, the light bar right here changes from the blue right here to the amber light. And again, you maybe went over here into the samples folder and you're in PS light bar and you don't see it here. That's because those have been moved or those binary files have been moved over to the releases. So if you come over here to releases and you're looking at this very latest version, which is 0.1.2, and you go down to assets here, the light bar is going to be just right here. This is the ELF file that you will need to send. And again, this has the 0-00. And so looking at the assets, right here is the file loader. And from right here, I can select a file. Right now, I've got just an ELF file in there. And then right here is where you would punch in your PS4 or PS5's IP address. And so that is what that tool is right there. Now, if you prefer to just use the command line, then you can use these files right here to load the L file. And then finally, this one right here to actually send the ISO image. Now, coming down into this, you can see that for PS Dialog, there is multiple PS4 versions. So there's also a PS4 for 10.01 as well as for the dialog you see for PS5, 0.00. There is the light bar, the notification, as well as the actual dot card files that you would use to create your game save with. And so he's basically organized this to make this a lot easier to deal with. Now, the very last thing that was in here was the actual game loader. Since the game loader is a substantial piece of MasterCore or the reason that people are using it, it makes absolute sense to pull that out into its own repository. You can see that he gives a few instructions on how to send the ISO over. Now, there's several suggestions, again, on how to make this better, such as loading via USB or the hard disk drive. And I think that any of those would be better than doing this over the network. And I did want to leave you with a few kind of quick tips. One of them is, is that if you already want a save game that already has at least version 0.1.2 in it for all firmwares, you can obviously come and grab that from Echo Stretch. So he has all of the versions listed right here. And so the only really thing that you would need to do here is to download the save file. And obviously you would have to sign it to your PlayStation account. So that is fairly easy to do. I have a couple of videos covering that using Save Wizard, as well as doing it on your PS4 with Apollo.
If you are on Mac and you want a GUI or a graphical user interface, there is this one right here, which I was notified about on Twitter, and this is a MasterCore Mac GUI. So this is one version that you can definitely go and check out if you are on a Mac and want to still take advantage of, you know, sending these files over easier, sending these ISOs over even easier. And so I have not tried this on my own computer. So again, just be wary of anything that's on the internet that you download. Make sure, you know, you take a look at the source code, etc., before you run it on your computer. Okay, so that is going to do it for this one. I will see you on the next one. Michael.